get to enjoy another Cloister Trials, this time in Bevel. Which is the capital land of Spira, or whatever. Now the trick to this is, this nifty little maze here, but there has to be one Bevel Sphere in the pedestal at all times in order to create the platform to move along. So what we do is, we're just going to make sure to keep one in there. So I'm going to take this one. I will have two. First thing I'll do with this one is put it basically the direction I'm facing right there. Basically you want to press X when the arrow is lit up in the direction you want to go. So I want to go left now, this first one. Well, this is an empty recess that we'll put one Bevel Sphere in. Create a connection to the platform in that empty spot. Now with this line in the maze, we're all set. So now we'll go back to that other intersection, which is the second one you're seeing. We're going to go left. Going down the hill there. Three directions here. What I want to do is I want to go straight. I go down the hill here, down another hill. I'll find yet another Bevel sphere. Except for this area, this smaller area here. Go back up the hill, the hills. It's close up of Titus, around in the corner. Wanna go to the right. Now I'm gonna go all the way to the very end, the last intersection. One of our Bevel spheres here. You see that empty area to the right. So now I'm gonna fill in. This is actually one I can run across. But I have a recess there for another sphere. For now, what we'll do is. Grab off the platform here. Set back to here. And I'm going the wrong way. I want to go straight. I'll take a detour for a second. That was a big waste of time. I'm going to go this way initially. Second intersection. Take our right. to be a glyph sphere, which it is.
Put her on a pedestal here. She's gonna help it any, but it's the only way we can carry it. Now we can put it into that recess that was over here. Grabbed it the last moment there. temple you go to where basically a destruction sphere isn't optional, you're forced to use it. Which means you can never miss hidden treasure here. So now we come back. We'll go straight this time like I wanted. Stop at the second intersection, take a right. Sphere, I guess was. And you'll see the effect it has. And it creates a new direction with that diagonal path. Now, We gotta do one more thing. We got our pedestal and we get to go up to the path to get to the uh, secret treasure and to get to the chamber. Chamber of the Faith. But, you're gonna wanna go up there with two Bevel spheres and you'll see why. So, seeing as though we've done everything we need to in this area, we're gonna take this one back out. Now what we'll do is we'll take it right at the first intersection instead. We haven't been that way yet, and now we can actually make use of it. pedestal just to keep going the same direction we were originally going. And yeah, that's gotta take us take us up this diagonal path. To the top. And this is our destruction sphere treasure. Shiny glyph to bring our pedestal up here. Take our bell sphere. Put it in a recess. Now we can attain this other treasure. Concerned it's a pretty good weapon, it's definitely worth it.